what's about to take place. So I believe strongly that's what happened. And you're correct. Amen. You're correct. Mm -hmm. in, your, your, in your assessment, because that's the truth. They had just got out of taxation. Yes. They had just yeah. got out of pressure. Come on. So God always sent a word of comfort. Yeah. Never always and and you look, there was no room in the inn or anything for them to have babies. So they had to go to the manger with the animals and all that was even lined up in prophetic. But, I mean, after all of this, could you imagine, okay, traveling, you're how many months pregnant and you're tired and you want to rest and you got to go lay on some straw in the manger, but yet still God showed up. Yes. Amen. And he still let them know that you are on target with what I set in motion. Because what I started, I won't finish. He had to confirm and let them know. And that's why he sent many people coming to visit and see this babe in the manger to see what is this that was spoken of. What is this great wonder among us? What is this? And as they came and she saw the people coming with amazement and excitement, you know what that did. That continued to stir up her faith and activate her even the more where she could say, wow, okay, all right. It is all good now in the city. It's all good with me. Amen. All is well. Amen. So that was a powerful moment. All of that, it seems like just some little thing that took place. But I'm speaking about this today because it was an awesome moment. And all, I tell you, I almost would like to have been there. Yeah. Been one of those traveling to see baby Jesus. Yeah. To say, wow, how powerful. So how much more powerful should it be? Should it not be for us now in our time? Because it is now Emmanuel, God with us. He dwells inside of us, with us. We don't have to go far. We don't have to travel to see a babe in a manger. Amen. We don't have to go to the limbs of the earth. But actually, we can take it with us to be a light into the world. Amen? So how much more powerful even now, as I mentioned, that we should be excited about this thing that has taken place because that immaculate moment for her, even an immaculate moment for us, even conception for us, even the birthing of a son, the son for us. And then the womb of the morning, the church could now arise to her rightful place and give birth. Amen? Oh, Lord God, I'm going out before her. That's what I'm going all the way to the end before I get to the middle. But that's all right with the Holy Spirit. Amen. So. The thing, the thing, the thing that's so powerful in here, it's, it's a, man, it, it's, 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 it's heavy. But the message from heaven was, Glory to God in the highest, yes. and on earth, peace, peace. will be toward all men. Oh, man. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Good will toward men. It says, listen, glory yes. to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will mm. toward men. Man. That's the message yes. yeah. of Emmanuel. Yes. Yes. That's Lord. the message of incarnation. Man. I'm telling you, we got yeah. contrary winds, God. contrary doctrines yeah. in the church that's telling, bringing condemnation, bringing yeah. guilt, bringing, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Our message, even to our homes, to our children, to our husbands, to our wives, to our community, to our city is peace on earth. Yes. 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 Come on now. Huh? Yeah. Just like the disciples will sit out and declare peace when they go in the house and they shake off the dust of their feet. Yeah. As, as a believer, we're not to go and look for people sin. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So see, if you take sin out, if you take the devil out <laughs> of the messages in the church, what else is going to talk about? Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you take out everyday news, what's happening in, in America, if you take out anything from CNN, C-SPAN, all that other stuff, the fluff and buff, mm. and just give us the genuine gospel. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Which is the good news. Yes. Yes. The land yes. the good news. Yes. Maybe we won't come to the church looking all to death in the face. Yes. You know, because some of us can't even get in the mode to participate in praise. Yes. We come in with rigor and mortis yes. on us. We come yes. in uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I crack up. I, I, sometimes I come in, you see me walking around, I see folks. They, I, there's some of y'all ain't lift the hand all year. Wow. Seriously. Wow. You got a hand out because you want something free. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everywhere you go, you got your hand out. But you ain't lift your hand up. Yes, Lord. Probably in 
Young Church too. Look at her, pastors. You see her. Come on. The Rolling Stones. Yeah, that's how they roll this way, Lev. Right? They ain't gonna do like this. They ain't gonna step back. They ain't gonna step up. They ain't gonna go to the left. They ain't gonna go to the right. We gotta worry about that. right in the floor oh because they've been there all the time. The calendar day changed, but they in the same spot. Right there, huh? And the spirit moved the same yeah. spot. Yeah. But this message that, that, that you're talking about, mm. Emmanuel, yes. it makes things happen. Come on. Amen. Amen. And we're the carriers of it. We ain't persuaded yet. That's why everything else around us ain't changed. We ain't persuaded yet. Yeah, that's it. When we are fully persuaded, You've heard this said before, there is nothing that we can't do. There is no demon we 